A boy with severe disabilities was photographed using the restroom at school, and that photo ended up online. The boy's mother says the school's punishment wasn't enough, and she is pushing for criminal charges. Here's Ben Gutierrez. Melissa Harper Osai's son is a freshman here at Campbell High School. She says that administrators are not taking enough action after he was photographed in a general education restroom. A student found it interesting, humorous, uh, whatever, in my opinion, um, because his pants were all the way down to his ankles while he was using the urinal and decided at that moment in time to take a picture of him. And then post it on social media. That was on April 17th. Oh. Harper Osai found out from a vice principal the next day and shared the story on Facebook. I am full of so many emotions and anger and frustration. My son has multiple disabilities. He was born with a genetic anomaly. He also has autism. He's pretty much nonverbal. She says um, he's supposed to use a restroom reserved for students with the disabilities while escorted by a support aide. The teacher was in the classroom and he walked into the gen ed bathroom and his one to one support did not follow him. Um, to make sure that he was okay and stand outside the bathroom. Harper Osai filed a police report and intends to press charges against the senior who took and posted the photo on a private page for his friends. She says an HPD detective later showed her the photo but wouldn't let her make a copy. The DOE says Campbell High School investigated the incident and took what it called appropriate action but couldn't say more because of privacy laws. He went back to the class, you know, three days after he was suspended and is unable to walk across the stage for graduation. But that's all the consequences that has happened. It's not unique. It happens to kids all the time. They just don't have a voice to talk about it. Rosie Rowe of the group Leadership in Disabilities and Achievement in Hawaii says bullying is everyone's problem and everyone should be part of the solution. Whether they have a disability and even the kids that don't have a disability aren't talking about it. They need to come up with um, safety plans, with processes to put in place every single time an incident like, like this happens. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.